I like to do is show you how to find the domain and range um, given a graph. So when we're looking at the domain and range, um, a couple things we need to remember. Remember, domain and range is just going to be a relationship um, between our, oh, we have two bags. So we're talking about relations. Here's another way for us to represent a relation between two coordinate points, or between two points, an x value and a y value. And we're going to rep that, represent them using a graph. So we're going to represent the relationship graphically. So when we're talking about the domain, what we're talking about is all the x values, okay? And when talking about the x values of a graph, what we need to do is we need to say, well, what are the x values? And what I have is I just have one, two, three, four, five points up there. Well, a couple things I've talked about is you can write every point as a ordered pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write each one of these as an ordered pair. Remember, this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. The x-axis tells me how far I'm going left to right. So over here, I went over negative 2. And then on my y-axis, I went up 1. So my ordered pair is negative 2, 1, where negative 2 represents the x value and 1 represents the y value. Over here, I have a negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Over here, I have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, comma 1. And here it goes down um, 0, negative 2. Okay, because I didn't go left to right anything, so that's why x is 0. So if I remember, every coordinate point can be rewritten as x, y. I can write my domain is all of my x values. So my domain here would be negative 2, negative 1, 1, 4, and 0. And over here, my range is going to be all the set of y values. So it's going to be a 5, 1, 2, 1, and negative 2. All right? Over here, I have a continuous function. And one thing I did is I, I labeled out a couple points so you can see them. Here is going to be 0, 3, 1, 4, uh, negative 2, 0. And here I went 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3. So I laid out a couple points. Over here, we obviously know these are the only points on there. But what you notice between here is, between each and every one of these points, they're connected. Meaning, there's infinite number of coordinate points I could direct, right? I only picked out a couple of them. But there's infinite. There's infinite many points between these two points. So therefore, I can't possibly label every single coordinate point up there because there's infinite amount. So what I can say is, x values is going to cover all of the points. And how far um, does it go? Well, this is, as I keep on going over there, it's going to uh, keep on going to negative infinity. And if I keep on going over to the right, it's going to go to positive infinity. So since there's no break in the graph, what I have is my, um, my domain is going to be all numbers. All numbers to positive, all numbers to negative infinity. So I, what I can do is I can write my domain is you could say all real numbers, or from negative infinity to infinity. Then I could write my range is the same thing. Again, this is all going down to negative infinity. This is going up to infinity. And what I notice is there's no break in the graph, so every single y value is going to be covered. So my range will be the exact same thing. All real numbers, or from negative infinity to infinity. So that's how you determine the domain and range when given a graph.